hello guys welcome back to another android studio tutorial in this episode we are going to create an example for android async task so first we have to finish the gui for the application so here i am going to add a larger text to view also add a button go to the xml file change the text for the text to view click button to start download okay also change the text on the button start download now go to the main activity dot java first create some variable for text to view I name it as text to view. Now create some variable for button. I name it as button. Now we have to initialize these two variables. So first initialize the text to view. Find the view by id r dot id dot text to view. Type cast this one into text to view. okay also we have to initialize the button object button equal to find view by id r dot id dot id is button and type cast this one into button okay now here i am going to create an on click listener for the button so button dot set on click listener okay now we finish the GUI for the application now we have to create an async task so here I am going to mimic a downloading process using some thread so now I, I need to create an async task so expand the Java folder right click the package and create a new Java class I name it as my task and click OK to use async task you have to extend async task okay and here you need to specify the generic types used by the async task there are three generic types for async task first one is params second one is process and sorry progress and last one is result so here I use void for the three we have to change it later okay so here I use void for params progress and result and here you need to override some method implement the method this is the only method you must implement on the subclass of async task doing by ground and click OK okay so here we have the method doing by ground but we need all the other methods so here I am going to override each of these methods. First one is on pre execute. Now we need on post execute. To publish the process, we need the on progress update method. Okay, now we have all the methods. So now we have to do some background task on the doing background method. So here I am going to mimic some downloading process by posing the current thread. So the doing background method will execute in a background thread. So now here I am going to wait the background thread for some seconds to mimic a downloading process. For that here I declare some variables in i equal to 0 and specify some synchronized block. Okay. And use some loop. put some condition I less than 10 okay now I'm going to wait the current thread for some seconds some milliseconds I post the current thread for 1500 milliseconds of course you need to put some try catch block here okay and increment the value of high by 1 
So this loop, this while loop will weigh the current thread for 15 seconds. Okay, that is that is the that is our background task. Now we have to publish this process on the main UI thread. For that we need some variables here. So here I am going to declare some variables. First we need a context variable. Second one we need some text to view variable. <coughs> I name it as text to view. Also we need some button. Okay. And here I am I need some progress bar for publish the process. So here I am going to use some uh, here I am going to use the progress dialog. I name it as progress dialog. Okay. So we have to display a progress dialog on the main activity. So we can use the on pre execute method for it. So this is the first method whenever we task whenever this is the first method invoked by the Android system whenever we start an async task. So in this method you can you can done the initial preparation for the async task. So here I need to initialize the progress dialog new progress dialog and pass the context object. Okay. Uh, now set, set some title for the progress dialog set title downloading download in progress ok now set some maximum size for the progress set max I put, that as, uh, put it as 10 now specify the current state current progress set progress into zero now put some style for the progress dialog dot set progress style into progress dialog dot style dot horizontal and finally make the progress dialog visible using show method okay So now we have to call the publish progress method from the doing background method. So here I'm going to call that method. So call the publish progress method and pass the value of i. Okay. So here we use some progress variable and the type of the progress variable is integer here. So you have to change the generic types of the async task. So the second generic type will represent the type of the progress here the progress type is integer so you have to change this one into integer okay so whenever you call the publish progress method from the doing background method that will invoke the on progress update method so here you need to change this one into integer okay there is no need of the super. I remove that one. And here declare some variable in in progress equal to and here this argument will expect some group of values, group of integer values. And you can get the first value from the zeroth index of this variable. So values of zero. Okay. Now we have to set the progress for the progress dialog so progress dialog dot set progress into use the variable progress ok also make some changes on the text view set the text into download in progress ok so after finishing after finishing the job on the doing background method we have to return some result so here from the doing background method after finishing the background job here I am going to return some value here is a string value download complete ok so here we return some result from the doing background method and the value here the type of the value is a string so you have to specify it in the generic type of the async task so here the last 
argument last argument will represent the return type of the result and here the result is string so I need to change that one into string okay so whenever you return something from the doing background method it will go on the on post execute method so here you need to change the return type of this method into string and you have to catch the result on the on post execute method so instead of void here you have to use string and I change the variable name into result okay remove this one and make some changes on the text to view dot set text into result okay now we have to start the async task from the main activity so go to the main activity dot java so here we have a constructor sorry here we don't have a constructor so we need to create a constructor for this class so here I'm going to create a constructor we need some arguments for the constructor first one is a context object second one is a text to view and the last one is we need some button variable button okay now we have to initialize the variables context text to view and button so this dot context equal to context this dot text to view equal to text to view and this dot button equal to button okay now we initialize all the variables now go to the main activity so here you need to create an object of my task so I create an object of my task I name it as my task equal to new my task first one is the context object for that I use main activity dot this second one is the text to view and third one is the button okay now we have to start the async task so my task dot call the execute method also we have to disable the button so button dot search enabled into false now go to my task after finishing the job we have to again enable the button so go to the on post execute method here we got the result so now here I'm going to enable the button so button dot search enabled into true this will enable the button on the activity main.xml file now we finish all the coding now we can check the application okay after finishing the job we need to do something more we have to hide the progress dialog so progress dialog dot call the hide method yeah this will hide the progress dialog after finishing the job now we can check the application so now I run the application okay now we have the application available on a virtual device now here I am going to start the background task this will display a progress bar and the background task will execute for 15 seconds so we have to wait for 15 seconds yeah now the background job is finished this is how we working with Android async task. I hope you understand the concepts. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.